The language of business is sometimes expressed in words. Other times it may be numbers, images, or even colors. Just as we put no constraints on our thinking, we should accept no constraints on our ability to communicate. The, the purpose of trying to combine type and graphics and photographs all together is a recognition of the fact that for literally hundreds of years, people have felt that that was the effective way to communicate. It's not just words, it's not just drawings, it's not just pictures. It's the combination of all of those that makes communication more effective on the printed page and now on displays and television screens as well. We want to recreate that electronic form of paper. In other words, we want the electronic analog to paper. Paper has been a very effective invention of mankind and the display of information on that media has been enormously effective and what the computer needs to do is help that process. PCs, Macs, workstations, mainframes, we need them all and we need them all to work together. People want to communicate among themselves. People want to work in work groups together. They want to print on any device. They want to communicate files and information back and forth. It's that exchange of information that gives the productivity in organizations. And PostScript facilitates that exchange of information. What a standard offers to a network administrator is an easier time managing their clients. Number one, there's a standard way to print documents. There's a standard set of typefaces that are used. And what that means to the end user is better productivity and peace of mind that their documents are going to work. Ha! I've got it! What? Here's the plan. Take this one down to accounting, print it out on the laser printer. Take this one up to the fifth floor, print it out on the color printer. Take this one, run it through the plotter over in manufacturing, and zip this one over to the art department, print it out at 1200 DPI. Uh, but, uh, wouldn't it be a lot easier if we just standardized on PostScript? The best strategy takes advantage of current technology and at the same time leaves room for innovation. In conducting and arranging your business, you don't have to uh, anticipate or know in advance what kind of technology is at the other end of the wire that you're communicating with as long as you know one important fact, that it's PostScript from Adobe. With PostScript technology being able to offer so many different applications which support the PostScript standard and with over 170 different output devices, the MIS person, as long as they recommend PostScript, allows the employee within the corporation to be able to make their own choices. And we are not going to discriminate against the PC that they want to use, whether or not it's a PC DOS machine, whether or not it's a Windows or an OS2 machine, a Macintosh a Next computer, an SGI, a DEC, an IBM, a mainframe, whatever they want to use, whatever suits their needs best, we will be there with tools to help them communicate. Computers that won't print are like salesmen that can't talk. I've seen a lot of customers who are looking for simple plug and play solutions go through some incredible gymnastics just to get a document to print because they didn't pay attention to what kind of printer or what kind of investment they made in printer technology. And a lot of times they don't even find out that it's, it's not the real thing uh, until it's too late. It's not printing. I can't understand it. Why isn't it printing? The guy who sold it to me said it was PostScript compatible. But did he say it had PostScript software from Adobe? No, not really. Does it matter? What is the price of possibility? How do you place a value on potential? Over the past five or six years, there's probably been 40 companies that announced that they are going to clone uh, a PostScript and make it better and make it smaller and make it faster. Well, the reality is that very, very little of that has really happened. Most people don't know how to do this. It's a very, very complex thing. Some of the best and brightest people in the world have tried to do this outside of Adobe and have not been successful at doing it. And because there really has been no price advantage or product differentiation that any of the clone competitors have brought to the market, that most major corporations really do end up specifying the PostScript trademark as part of their purchase decision. People come to us precisely to get this new technology. Uh, they depend upon us. Uh, the products that Adobe ships result in many, many billions of dollars worth of revenue each year. Um, and this market it exists principally because of what we do here at Adobe. 
People have said the right way to look at Adobe is that we are the R&D arm of the printer industry. You can get PostScript at any price point that you're interested in. Less than $2,000? $1,500. $1,400 right now. Going down. Productivity is always constrained by the slowest factor in the business environment. Paperwork is that factor. The more communicative the document, the more productive the individual, the more profitable the company. PostScript is, is not just a, a tool for high-end graphics. It's a tool that can be used in everyday office applications very efficiently and very effectively. They can start to get financial information on standard size pages in an easily readable format. They don't have to go through the gyrations that they're used to. What's going on? Uh, uh, I can't get the spreadsheets to print on one page. No problem. All we have to do is scale it down a bit. Huh? What? Wait a minute, what? Ta-da! But you can't see the numbers. Ah, uh, nobody reads that stuff anyway. Well, they could read it if we had PostScript software from Adobe. Hmm. PostScript software from Adobe. I've heard that before. A level of competition regarding business documents has now become an issue. The document that looks good gets read, and the document that looks best gets read first. Courier was originally a typeface designed in the 50s for the IBM Selectric typewriter. Well, what I see out there in uh, corporate America is that people want to have something other than the standard memo, which is the courier typeface, standard heading, et cetera. They want to make them look a little bit more interesting so they can not only better communicate information, but draw attention to specific uh, information that they're trying to disseminate. Who wants to use just courier? My favorite font is Adobe Garamond. Caslon, definitely Caslon. Stumps there. Frutiger. I don't know about Frutiger, though. Palatino. Universe. Black. Hobo. Futura condensed extra bold. Freedom and light. I think lithos is easier to see. Tecton. People have so much information that they have to get every day. They have voicemail, electronic mail, paper mail, magazines, newsletters. Um, and what you want to do is you want to be able to get information to people. You want to get the right information. You want to get it to them cleanly and crisply and effectively and make them notice you out of all that clutter. Whether it's a business letter, whether it's a memo, whether it's a financial report, whether it's packaging, and if you look at any one of those kinds of written pieces, type is an intricate part of it. So based on that, what type does to the package says something about the person that sent it as well as the company behind it. Image is not everything, but it is always the first thing. The biggest problem in a corporate identity program is how does a corporation solve the common look and feel to get the message across to their internal clients or external clients. What some corporations are doing for making the choice easier is setting up a corporate standard that for letters or for memos or for reports, here's the set of typefaces you should have. And uh, some corporations are even going farther than that to supply that across the corporation to every Mac and every PC or every Unix workstation in the environment. What Adobe is all about is improving the way the world communicates, facilitating communication. One of the exciting things about Adobe is that Adobe pushes the art both in the field of technology as well as in the field of aesthetics. Because Adobe Systems has relationships with virtually every major hardware, software, and operating systems vendor, we tend to be in the middle of what's going on today and can be a tremendous asset in helping our customers to plan today and into the future. Type is very important. Graphics is very important. Technology is very important. Networking and communication is very important. Essentially, we're not in any piece of the technology for its own sake. We're in it to solve problems. We're in it to solve the communication problems that businesses have today.